chapter number 16 that is chemistry in everyday life so the first question from 2010 antibiotics antiseptics and disinfectants are antimicrobial drugs give two examples of antibiotics so you could give the two you could give two examples as penicillin and tetracycline Mm, then there is another example of fluoxacin no it's only necessary then you know um, there are two types of antibiotics narrow spectrum antibiotics and broad spectrum antibiotics in narrow spectrum antibiotics penicillin and in broad spectrum antibiotics it is tetracycline in neat 2019 also a question from narrow spectrum antibiotics ke yeah i just said to you okay then bright one similarity between antiseptics and disinfectants antiseptics and disinfectants both antiseptic and disinfectants are chemicals which either kill or prevent the growth of microorganism it might kill or prevent the growth of microorganisms antiseptics can be applied to living tissues such as wounds cuts ulcers and diseased skin surface but disinfectants are applied to inanimate objects such as floor drainage drainage system instruments etc they are harmful to living tissues um, that is the difference between antiseptic and disinfectant so i'll explain once more one example of antibiotics two examples penicillin and tetracycline and um, the similarity between antiseptic and disinfectants are they kill or prevent the growth of microorganism then the difference between antiseptic and disinfectant are antiseptic are applied on wounds cuts um, of living tissues and disinfectants are used in inanimate objects like floor bathrooms surgical instruments etc then these are harmful to living tissues okay um 2010 itself for the say exam or the improvement exam this was asked okay the doctor prescribed to use anti antacids for the person for a person who was suffering from acidity in the stomach what is the function of antacid what is the function of antacid you know it is used to remove the excess acid in the stomach and raise the ph to appropriate level it is used to remove the excess acid in the stomach and raise the ph to appropriate level explain the reason for acidity in the stomach acidity in the stomach is the presence of excess hydrochloric acid in the gastric juice so what like explain the reason for acidity in the stomach it is because of the excess of hydrochloric acid in the gastric juice of the stomach what are the common used and acids sodium hydrogen carbonate nhco3 the mixture of aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide 
അലൂമിനിയം എ എൽ ഒ എച്ച് ത്രൈസ് അലൂമിനിയം ഹൈഡ്രോക്സൈഡ് പ്ലസ് മെഗ്നീഷ്യം ഹൈഡ്രോക്സൈഡ് ദൻ തേർഡ് വൺ കാൽഷ്യം കാർബണേറ്റ് എക്സെട്ര സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ കോമൺലി യൂസ്ഡ് എൻഡ് ആസിഡ്സ് വൺ ഇസ് സോഡിയം ഹൈഡ്രജൻ കാർബണേറ്റ് സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ദ മിക്സ്ചർ ഓ മിക്സ്ചർ ഓഫ് അലൂമിനിയം ഹൈഡ്രോക്സൈഡ് ആൻഡ് മെഗ്നീഷ്യം ഹൈഡ്രോക്സൈഡ് തേർഡ് വൺ കാൽഷ്യം കാർബണേറ്റ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ലെവൻ മാർച്ച് ഡിറ്റർജൻസ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഫ്രം ഡിറ്റർജൻസ് പാർട്ട് at the same time you can look the textbook or notebook okay where you where you wrote all these points before yeah so i took detergents detergents are used to remove oil and dirt from surface what are synthetic detergents give an example synthetic detergents are cleansing agents which have all the properties of soaps but which actually do not contain any soap okay synthetic detergents are cleansing agents which have all the properties of soap but which actually do not contain any soap example sodium lauryl sulfate what are anionic cationic and non conic detergents illustrate with examples uh i think it's not conic okay it's ionic yeah anionic cationic and non ionic detergents yeah i think it's a pronunciation anionic detergents are anionic detergents are sodium salt of sulfonated long chain alcohols or hydrocarbons anionic detergents okay link so you could otherwise you could write detergents having anionic hydrophilic parts are called anionic detergents okay uh, example sodium lauryl sulfate you could write the use used in toothpaste so you it has hydrophilic anionic part or anionic hydrophilic part then cationic detergents are quaternary ammonium salt of amines with acetate cationic detergents are cationic detergents are quaternary ammonium salts of amine in acetate uh, better you could write it is very easy to write detergents which are use which are or which contain cationic hydrophilic parts are called the cationic detergents and they have germicidal properties and which are very expensive which are used in hair conditioning the copper you could say those things example cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide then yes non ionic detergents which do not contain any ions example liquid dishwashing detergents okay example uh, so the question was what are anionic cationic and non ionic detergents illustrate with examples so ionic detergents are those which containing which contains anionic hydrophilic parts example sodium lauryl sulfate then cationic detergents are those which contains cationic hydrophilic parts example cetyl trimethyl ammonium the non ionic detergents which do not contain any ions 
and uh, example it is used in used okay it is used in um, liquid wash wash liquid dishwashing detergents if you didn't get the example properly you could write this liquid dishwashing detergents then c a synthetic detergent is used as dishwasher to which of the above type would it belong to so synthetic detergent belongs to non ionic detergents okay then come a question comes a question from say exam 2011 improvement exam drugs plays an important role in health maintenance analgesics and antibiotics are two important drugs okay so you could take drugs part yeah define each analgesic are drugs used to reduce pain analgesics example paracetamol antibiotics are those chemical substances which substances produced by microorganisms like bacteria which can inhibit the growth or even destroy other microorganisms so analgesics are pain relieving uh, chemicals example paracetamol and antibiotics are chemicals which are produced by bacteria to kill other microorganisms so exam okay next part give one example for each for analgesic the example is morphine heroin paracetamol etc uh, analgesic yeah aspirin you know aspirin there are two types of analgesics narcotics and non narcotics narcotics the example is morphine and heroin and non narcotics is paracetamol wait 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 and the and the pyrotics i don't know whether paracetamol belongs to uh, non narcot narcotics or non narcotics but paracetamol is an anti pyrotics okay Two thousand twelve question that is also from drugs part. Different drugs have different thera therapeutic actions in our bo body. Write the therapeutic action of the following drugs in our body. The first one is tranquilizer. So we were discussing about tranquilizer. You know, tranquilizer is one of the chemical substances which is used to cure mental diseases or disorders and to reduce mental stress. It's all about mental disorders, mental stress, and um, mental diseases. They can act on high centers of central nervous system and induce sleep of to the patients. Example: Lumina, second. second second hour second hour barium okay so what is tranquilizer tranquilizer is a chemical used to treat mental diseases or disorder disorder or mental stress and it it act on central nervous system and induce sleep to, in the patients example um, what luminol second hour barium okay very good Uh, there are other examples because in um, tranquilizer example i um, okay that's enough 
analgesics what is analgesics analgesics are um chemical substances which is used to relieve or abolish pain without causing impairment of confusion consciousness mental confusion in coordination or paralysis or some other disturbance of nervous system example aspirin novalgin so there is another example morphine then heroin also okay so analgesics are chemicals which um, reduces or uh, relieve pain in the body um, without co- affecting the consciousness mental confusion paralysis exam etc example is morphine heroin aspirin etc so third one is antibiotics antibiotic are chemical substances which are produced by bacteria uh, which can uh, kill other microorganisms example penicillin penicillin g ampicillin and amoxicillin okay okay then uh, a question from improvement 2012 antiseptics disinfectants and antibiotics are antimicrobial drugs antiseptics disinfectants and antibiotics are antimicrobial drugs what is the major difference between antiseptic and anti uh, and disinfectant so uh, i have already explained this question um either in 2010 or 11 i'm not that sure but i already said right there will be questions which will be asked exactly same as it is in the uh, consequent years okay so here the question was what is the difference between antiseptic and anti disinfectant antiseptics are um, chemicals which are used in uh, living tissues and in wounds cuts etc and the disinfectants are used in inanimate objects such as floor bathroom um, etc which are um, harmful to living tissues okay then if you want you can write the example writing example is very good i'll check that in antiseptic you can write what that tone sorry 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 in uh, answer is right but the screen was little turned and that tone and uh, in disinfectant you can say lysol or harpy kind of okay then comes yeah yeah the question was that itself write one example each of antiseptic and disinfectant okay detol uh, and um, detol example for disinfectant is 1 percent a solution of phenol okay 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 then other examples are so2 and cl2 that that also you can write then comes question what are antibiotics Oh, this was a question from 2011 antibiotics are those chemicals which um, kill other microorganisms okay which kill other microorganisms example penicillin g and tetracycline okay. that is a sure question antibiotics and uh, the question from 2013 chemotherapy is a term found in medical terminology what is chemotherapy right example so chemotherapy is a branch of chemistry which deals with the treatment of uh, this is chemotherapy what was it um chemotherapy was a uh, uh, he was using cancer treatment and all okay then example example is not given here synthetic detergents are classified into three categories okay yeah. synthetic uh, detergents are uh, mainly classified into three types cationic anionic and ionic detergents 
കാറ്റയോണിക് ആനയോണിക് ആൻഡ് നോൺ അയോണിക് ഡിറ്റർജൻസ് ഓക്കെ ടു വിച്ച് ഓഫ് ദ എബോ കാറ്റഗറി ഓഫ് സിന്തറ്റിക് ഡിറ്റർജൻസ് ഡസ് ദ ലിക്വിഡ് ഡിഷ് വാഷിംഗ് ഡിറ്റർജൻസ് ബിലോങ് ടു ഇറ്റ് ബിലോങ്സ് ടു നോൺ അയോണിക് ടൈപ്പ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് തേർട്ടീൻ വി ക്യാൻ ടെൽ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട്